Welcome to the COVID Chronicles. Um, we're here at Okonjima Nature Reserve. Um, today we just did something awesome and uh, joining me here is Martin and uh, he's just going to take us through on our activity. We usually come out here early just to find out where the animal, um, the rhinos are. As you know, this is part of uh, monitoring because of the whole anti-poaching. So we're joining them now. He's going to lead us and uh, walk behind him. You all come behind me. We don't need to be very far from each other. Um, we have to stick together. So as we are walking, as you know, we are in nature. We have to um, watch where we're stepping. If in case we come across a leopard, you don't need to run away from the group. You stick together with the group and we'll give you direction. Uh, if we have to back up, we all walk backwards, but no running away. We'll be giving you directions. All right, so if we get to the rhinos and the rhinos charges, usually you have to find a tree, something that you can hide behind. And we can see, because these guys, they don't see very well, but they've got a very, very good sense of smelling. And we are all good because we've, uh, we've got... Um, clothes that are not very much colorful so let's see as we go please watch where you're stepping your foot if you see there's a hole don't step in a hole, on a hole because you don't know what's in there the snakes are not very active at the moment because it's still very cold but let's see as we go okay does any of you have questions no all right ready The wind is not so strong, the wind is not so strong, although it's pushing into the western side, so where we are here it's fine. They still can't pick up the smell, they can't see us. Um, these are all boys, these are all boys. You shouldn't be confused by the name White Trino. This is not about the color. It's about the wideness of the lips, which is one of the difference between the black and the white one, because the black one has a hook-lipped lip. So this is about the type of uh, grazing which they have. These guys are grazers, which are herbivores. And this year, we are very much uh, blessed because we, we had a huge amount of rainfall actually, which is over the maximum rainfall that Okonjima gets. We usually over uh, 450, between 450, 500, and we're over 500. So there's lots of food for them. They are territorial. They will keep in a specific area, grazing in there, and then later on they move into a different area again, spend more time there before they move to the other area. Usually they will stick to areas which are close to the water hole because they, they drink quite a lot of water. They drink early mornings and early afternoon. Uh, sorry, and afternoons. So early mornings and afternoon, they make sure that they, they drink. Um, they must have been to the water hole already. Uh, we are not so far from the water hole where we are now.
eyes are not as aggressive as the black rhinos would be. You wouldn't do something like this to the black rhino. You also would be armed approaching them. And um, the black rhino looks a bit smaller than this. These guys are quite bigger in size. We just have to keep doing what we are doing now because you know things are still looking good. Um, we must not move around quite a lot because when they stick up breaking, that's when they determine who is here. You can see how he's standing still. You see the others are resting already, but the other one is still not very sure on whether it's also self or in to go down, even though they have not determined any danger around them, because resting already assures that there's no threat around the area where they're going to take a break. These guys are cannot Years old, but how old are these ones? These are 30, 35 years old. One of them? Oh, good. That's quite old already because the maximum lifespan is 40 years, and one of them is already 35. So, yeah, they are getting. It was a very, very nice walk. Everyone was really cooperating. We did a nice single file. And the approach was, um, was good because the wind was not so strong. So we enjoyed them in a very, very relaxed behavior. Mm -hmm. We spent some time there, I would say, some good 20 minutes. And the animals did not, the rhinos did not notice our presence. Um, everyone have enjoyed taking pictures as they wanted. Yeah. Uh, as we left them, they were slowing down 
uh, because this time of the day when you are heading close to mid morning they take a break of an hour or two before they can proceed well thank you very much martin thank you very much uh, Usko, are... it was um nice taking you on rhino walk uh, it was awesome okay. very good experience memorable i think everybody will go back thinking about this walk we did this morning it's not everything that everybody gets a chance to do but if you come to okonjima you might just get a chance to do it right? i'm sure i'll still be here thank you very much you're welcome